friends, can you believe it? I made another video! Today, I actually have planned to do a more in-depth introduction. So, that means I am going to do the get to know you tag. Now, I was looking all over the internet for the like get to know you kind of questions that everyone seems to do on YouTube, but all the ones that I found online were just not interesting enough for me. They were just so basic or I didn't have very interesting answers to that I was like, why don't I come up with my own? So that's what I've done for you guys today. Let's jump right in, shall we? What is your favorite color? Now, that question, you guys might be like, your favorite color, really? Like, that is such an elementary question. But that is exactly why I'm asking it, because when do we ask that question? You ask that question when you're little. What's your favorite color? That's like such a common question you ask when you're in elementary school, but suddenly when you're in college, in high school, or even an adult, you just never ask that question to people anymore. My favorite color, um, I don't know the actual name for it. It's an ice blue or a baby blue. Favorite high school subject. Okay, I'm gonna cheat on this one a bit. I actually have like two favorite high school subjects. When I'm saying high school subject, I mean like a core curriculum subject, a type of subject that everyone takes, not an elective, because electives are like cheating, because that's like college stuff. My two favorite subjects in high school were always English and history. I discovered in high school I was very humanities driven as opposed to STEM class driven. When I was in middle school actually, I was a very math and science person. I loved science and I loved math and I was so good at both of them. But suddenly when I got to high school, I like discovered that I was a pretty darn good writer and I loved history. It was like a giant storybook for me. Least favorite subject in high school. Okay, this is actually kind of easy and I'm kind of sad about it, but my least favorite subject in high school was math. Don't get me wrong, I loved my teachers and I was good in math. I was always in honors and AP math, but I just didn't enjoy it. Like, just following a formula all day and plugging numbers in, it just wasn't stimulating to me and it wasn't interesting to me enough. I personally really like English because I can have my creativity shine through and then history was just like a giant story, but math, you just keep plugging numbers and I don't really see any kind of creativity that I get to put into that. How many countries have I visited? Obviously, I live in the United States, if you couldn't tell by my accent, but my family originally comes from South Africa, so I have visited there four times in my lifetime and I am 18 now, so that's quite a few times. Now I haven't gone to any other countries to stay in, South Africa was the only country I visited to stay in for a while and intended to visit. For my other countries I visited, they were only for layovers getting to South Africa, funny enough, and the only other countries I have been to for those layovers are the United Kingdom and the United Arab Emirates. Biggest fear. My like biggest physical fear, as in my fear of a physical object, are needles. But when I say needles, I don't mean like the end of a push pin. It used to be the end of the push pin. I will give a story about that sometime later. But it's not the end of a push pin, it's not a sewing needle, it's nothing like that. It, it's like an injection. I'm afraid of needles that have the intention to go into someone's skin. I can tell you right now, like right here and right here. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Uh, my arm starts to like throb every time I mention needles. I don't know why, it just always happens without a fail. My biggest fear actually isn't needles because that's my biggest physical fear, but my biggest fear, which is like a mental kind of thing, is the fear of failure. Anyways, moving on onto a hopefully happier question. Oh, major. I said this in my previous video, my current major is sociology with an emphasis on criminology. Favorite drink? I am definitely a tea person. Um, my favorite tea, oh my gosh, okay. I haven't been able to find this in America yet. The only place I found this drink was when I was in South Africa two years ago, and it's called Boss. 
I'll put a little picture on the side here. It's iced rooibos tea, and it is so good. Any of you, if you have seen Boss in the stores, please, please buy it and try it. It is the best thing. I am not joking with you. It is my favorite drink in the whole world. And if there were, there was like a seller in America, I would buy so many. <laughs> my favorite flavor is peach or green apple, I think. Those were my two favorite flavors, but it is so good and I highly, highly recommend it. Favorite animal. I was actually thinking about this the other day. My roommate asked me probably a couple months ago uh, what my favorite animal was and I automatically jumped to dogs because I have two dogs and that's just always what I've known. But I never had like an exotic kind of animal or not necessarily exotic, but like a non-household pet animal is my favorite animal. But she helped me realize that my favorite animal is are actually pigs. I love pigs, like cute pigs. They don't have to be micro pigs, although I love micro pigs, they are so cute. I love large pigs, I love big pigs. Like, pigs are just so cute with their little snouts when they go, like they oink and stuff, they're just so cute. We had a petting zoo at my university like two months ago and there was a black pig in the pen and I was just like, I need that pig. If I have any video footage, I will place it here right now. But yeah, pigs are my favorite animal now that I've realized. Favorite YouTubers. My favorite YouTubers, hands down, are Rhett and Link from Good Mythical Morning. They are just so funny, and I love their sense of humor, and I love their content. I watch them every week morning without fail. That is a part of my routine. I know they'll probably never see this video, but they are just my favorite YouTubers of all time. I, I have never been so consistent with watching a specific channel until I came across their channel. I just keep coming back every morning to watch their videos. They are so good. Bad habit. What is a bad habit of mine? Um, when I get nervous, I tend to push and fiddle with my glasses on my face. And I really hope to stop that actually because I will be talking to a professor or talking to someone I like and I will constantly fiddle with my glasses because they feel like they're sliding down my face but they're not. So that's a really bad habit that I'm trying to break and when I consciously feel myself going up to push my glasses up, I try to tell myself, no, no, you can't do that, that is a bad habit. Favorite video game character. Now, when I was younger, I was really, really into video games. You can ask the majority of my friends and they will know. Um, hands down, my favorite video game character was definitely Sonic the Hedgehog. I constantly played all of the franchises games. My first gaming console was a PlayStation 2. I know, I'm so young. I picked up all those Sonic the Hedgehog games and I had to get every single Sonic game that came out every year because if I didn't, I felt like I was missing out. So, unfortunately, I've fallen out of gaming. I still game on my iPad and my laptop from time to time. Less Sonic the Hedgehog, though. Some of the games that I've been playing recently, though, are Vainglory, which I play on my iPad, and I play it with my brother. That's the way that we tend to communicate now that I'm in university. So that's how we bond, is we bond through playing Vainglory. It's kind of like a League of Legends thing, I believe, where you're on teams and you try to kill the other team and objectives and basically. Other games I play, I play Portal and I play The Sims. Those are my main games. Maybe I'll do some gameplay videos from time to time never know. If you'd like to see that, let me comment down below, because then I know that people are interested. Favorite celebrity? Huh. Okay. I have numerous. I don't really have a number one. I can think of three right now, and they're all actors. Chris Evans, Mark Wahlberg, and Keegan Out. Those are my favorite. 
This is my last question. It's not a very exciting question, but it's pretty interesting actually because it's changed. My answer has changed recently. And it's what's your favorite season of the year? My favorite season used to be summer. I loved the summer when I was younger because it always meant that you were gonna get out of school, you were gonna have a ton of free time, and you got to swim in the pool, and you got to have friends over all the time. And so I just associated all those positive feelings with the season of summer. But as I've grown up, and now that I'm in university, in Los Angeles of all places, I've come to realize how much I don't like summer. But in LA, the summer lasts all year. I'm not even joking. It has been so hot. It's February right now, and tomorrow is supposed to be 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Where I'm from, that is not common. That doesn't happen in February. And up till November, it was in the hundreds. The hundreds. I would be drenched in sweat coming from class to class. I just hated the feeling of sweating. I hated the feeling of just being pounded by heat. I have come to realize how much I really enjoy the cold weather. I just have more outfit choices when it's cold as well, so that could be just very biased of me. But I wish I could experience the snow. I wish I could experience more rain instead of this dry, constant heat wave. Anyways, you guys, that is all I have for you today. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see any future videos I would upload. So with that said, I hope that this video gave you guys a better insight as to who I am and gave you more hope for the future of this channel because hey, I uploaded a video. Can you believe it? Because I can't. <laughs> Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video again. I hope to catch you guys on the flip side and I hope you guys all have a good day. See you later. Bye!